So what is Sonic 3D Blast? Sonic the Hedgehog is a legendary series, being the flagship of the Sega Command against the Nintendo Menace and its champion Mario. When Nintendo released the NES which dominated against Sega's Master System, Sega responded by releasing the Sega Genesis with its new mascot, Sonic the Hedgehog. It was an instant hit, propelling Sega to equal levels with Nintendo. Nintendo didn't let this slow them down though, and they released the Super Nintendo with Super Mario World as a launch title. Mario's answer to the 16-bit hedgehog. This nuclear arms race continued with each side releasing hit after hit after hit. After the release of Sonic 3 in 1994, Sega was looking ahead to their next console, the 64-bit beast known as the Sega Saturn and the latest Sonic entry, Sonic Extreme! But they also had a last hurrah idea for the Sega Genesis to be released alongside Sonic Extreme! In 1996, titled Sonic 3D Blast. Then Sonic Extreme! Was to Extreme! For its own good, it ended up getting cancelled. So Sonic 3D Blast was released with an additional Saturn port being released a time later. And the game was OH MY EYES! MY EYES! <laughs> uh, Sonic 3D Blast was trash, I beat it and won't play it again. See, I've never beaten this, which is why I went to a retro store, saw it on the shelf, was like, you know what, I'm gonna go play that. So I literally bought this, I bought this from a retro store for $10. I spent $10 on Sonic 3D Blast. Sue me. Well... Sonic tried to make the jump to 3D on a less powered console and uh, Like the graphics themselves aren't super ugly. They actually look a lot like the visual style of Super Mario RPG with the isometric gameplay. But as that was a slower RPG, its visuals really shine. Meanwhile, the gameplay in this is just oh, You are Sonic the Hedgehog. Big twist I know and you're on a new island to save the Flickies, these mysterious birds with the ability to teleport. To find the Chaos Emeralds, naturally. That sick fuck Dr. Robotnik turned the Flickies into robots that need to be saved by Sonic. This game essentially is a basic Sonic game. Run through the level, grab rings to keep you alive, get power-ups by breaking these weird TVs, you know, the usual. What's different is this isometric view that's like Sonic is in a grid instead of a basic level. Which could be fun, but holy hell. Bruh. Sonic is moving in molasses. He starts so slow. But when he actually gets going, ah, my oh, eyes. Oh, 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 oh. It's so hard to keep watch of Sonic when he actually starts moving. Like, you intentionally have to slow down to focus on what's happening. God damn it. God damn it, stop it. There's fucking pits everywhere. I mean, spike traps everywhere. God damn it. Stop it. Come back here, you fuck. God damn it. Pure agony. Anyway, the 3D focus changes the solid Sonic gameplay just a tad for this edition. For one, your goal isn't to make it to the end of the stage as fast as you can like the other games. You must destroy five of Robotnik's minions to free the Flickies before either moving on to the next section of the level or moving on to the next act. This game actively conflicts with the Sonic premise. Gotta go fast, right? Nah. Going fast will only lead you into a game border. You need to go at a brisk pace to search for power-ups, robot enemies, and also your friends. Yeah, Tails and Knuckles are in this game, but they aren't playable. They're just standing around, doing nothing. Hey guys, could you please help me? Please? Well, they don't do anything besides steal your rings unless you have over 50. Then you get sent to a bonus level, which- ah, ha, 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 Why do you hate my eyesight? <laughs> 
Now you have to travel this 3D bridge collecting enough rings to make it past the frequent checkpoints and hope to gather the Chaos Emerald at the end, which is important for the actual ending of this game. So you save the flickies, gather the emeralds, and make it to the boss after the standard two basic platforming levels, where you fight robotic standard engineering failures. So what's next? If you don't gather the emeralds, after the last boss, Robotnik just gets away, no going after him, he just skidows. But if you do, you end up in a black hole against Robotnik's best robot, which has fought in multiple repeating phases that's super fucking frustrating. Beat it, and you free the flickies and win the day. Overall, yeah, this is a big step down from Sonic 3. I get they were trying to try something new, but you win some, and you lose some. And this one is a relative L in history. If you want to play this game, you can play it in the many different collections, as it's probably in there. This is basically a stocking stuffer. Don't worry Sega, it's going to get better before it gets much worse for Sonic the Hedgehog. This game gets two flickies out of five. Hey, I really appreciate you checking out the video. If you like the video, please like or leave a comment. And if you like my channel, please subscribe to see more. See you again soon.